Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for November 14th into the 15th. Fourteenth into the fifteenth. What do we need to know? Not coming together. Something is not coming together at all. Things are a little uneasy. Um, need to slow down a little bit for things to come together. Somebody's become enlightened, right? They have. Oh, somebody is becoming enlightened, but still in denial? What the hell? Here we have happiness. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh, we have this King of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, <coughs> looks like somebody is moving toward happiness. Somebody is moving towards happiness and wish fulfillment by stepping down. They've become enlightened. Somebody has received some sort of epiphany, and it looks as though they're about ready to take a risk. Although they may be a little scared to take this risk. You know, they may be, um, you know, they have this fear of the unknown, and maybe that's what's kept them stuck for so, so long. But it looks as though somebody is... is has become mentally exhausted with them with themselves not finding the love that they want and they may be deciding to put an end to that you know it's the end of the suffering it's the end of the loneliness it's the end of denial because this is a completion i can't i can't block my true feelings anymore it's the end it's the end it's like i i don't want to be in a one-sided situation. I don't want to be alone. It looks like we have a man here that, I mean, look at how big that offer is, that, that, that pentacle. We have this man that is probably extending a solid, stable offer after there's been a rejection for quite some time. And he may have been through some sort of mental turmoil that caused him to retreat for a period of time but now it looks like he's ready he's ready for love and there is an there is an offer of love coming here somebody is moving towards happiness and commitment after it's been blocked for quite some time now if you look what's mirroring we have wish fulfillment here ego may have gotten in the way but now this guy is like you know what i don't just want all these things I want it all and I want that that ace of cups I want it to be the ten of cups you know I want to add this cup to the nine of cups I got everything else I'm, I'm good I got my money I got my job I got my home I'm good I want to add this to get the ten of cups now I'm ready for this partnership I'm ready for this love ready for commitment so I feel as though this guy may have rejected it for quite some time because he just wasn't ready. He needed to get ready. But I think the end of of um, suffering is, is here because this is a completion. A, a completion of the negative thoughts, you know. It is. So... He's moving in a new direction. And you notice right now, he's the, the children are in, or the mother or the woman is not in the, in the boat. He's going after it. Right now, he's alone. 
So this man is now alone and he is headed towards his happiness and his wish fulfillment. He took a long time thinking about it, didn't he? It's like he was he resisted it for a long, long, long time. But it looks like he's he's now he's no longer handing uh hanging, he's standing up. I'm I'm standing up. He has been enlightened. And even though he has this fear of the unknown, it looks as though he is ready to, to face those fears um, and, and bring six, victory and success to this situation, to do the noble thing. So I do believe that somebody is finding the confidence to head towards their happiness, and it could be happening pretty quickly. Somebody, it's like he's not, he's done thinking, he's taking action. So I believe that we have a man here that is taking action. And I know, I know I say this a lot, I'm going to get a comment below. It's not gender-based. Fuck you! It is. If you don't like me, don't watch me. So anyway, um, it is gender-based. You can try to make it fit however you want. Go watch somebody else. We have a man here that is about to take action. He's going to go after what he wants. He's no longer going to sit around and think about it. He's about to take action. He's finding the confidence. He's found the confidence, the strength, the willpower, and the discipline. And he now sees the woman's beauty. Or he has seen the woman's beauty. And now he finally has the courage to open his heart. Where he has shut this relationship down for quite some time. But it looks to me like he no longer wants to be alone. He's been in a space of mental turmoil. He's been mentally trapped in his own feelings of getting betrayed if I open my heart. And he's kept this woman waiting for quite some time. We do have somebody here, and I think it is the woman that has been pretending that everything was okay for quite some time. And maybe she's the one that has found her strength to love again. And we have a man that sees this woman's strength and he sees this woman's beauty. And I feel like these two people are coming together after a rejection from another partnership. Do you know what I'm saying? Both of these people have been rejected. And now there's a coming together because this man is now ready for love. And he perhaps he's going to help this woman get unstuck from where she's been. There's 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 like a healing. You know, we can help each other heal. I think both people in this dynamic have been mentally stuck. But now the man 
a man is coming forward with an offer that is going to help a woman open up, step outside of her comfort zone and unblock her emotions. I think this man is is coming in and there's an opportunity for both people to heal together. Because they were both in a one-sided situation that has ended okay that has ended and now it looks as though this is the death of an idea it looks as though whatever has kept this, these people apart is now opening up. You know what I mean? There's no more keeping these two people apart. They're ready. They're ready. The time is, it's, it's like time to come together and help each other heal. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here because somebody is taking action and it is the man Or the masculine. This man is no longer going to sit around and think, you know, I, I'm going to be alone forever. I don't want this. I think we have a man here that is finally opening his heart to love. And he is going to make an offer of love to a woman that knows that is beautiful. But I think that there's been a breakup and there's this man needed to heal from that breakup before he could open his heart to new love. And now he is ready. And it's definitely a man. It is definitely a man. And all you people that want to make the readings fit to you can go watch somebody else. We have a male, masculine. Could be, if it's a same-sex relationship, it's the masculine, okay? We have a male. That has found his strength, his courage, his stability, his security, his focus and his concentration, and his ability to take the lead. And he is now ready for love. After he had rejected love or a partnership for some time. To get his shit together. And now he is going to go after the woman that patiently waited. The strong woman who doesn't need somebody to fix her. I feel like there's some sort of uh, action being taken that leads to wish fulfillment and happiness as a man decides to open his heart and take action. That's what today is about. It's not about the woman taking action. No, no, it's not. The man is taking action. And that's why we don't do this gender-based. All you women that are out there that want to chase, and we're going to say it again, 
are not going to get anything solid in long term. And when you watch all that other shit and you send all those fucking links, you're losing every time you do. This woman is strong. Stop pretending. Stop staying stuck where you are. We have a, we have a man that is headed in direct in the direction of happiness and commitment. But he's taking the lead, not the woman. For all you women that can't stop yourselves, you will continue to suffer with one night stands. If you gotta be that easy, then they will come and they will go. There will be, they will come and they will go. There will be no relationship. If you can't restrain yourself, this is a card of restraint. <laughs> this woman needs to restrain herself. And wait for the perfect man to come in with a solid offer. And for those of the women that have restrained themselves, be prepared to receive an offer. It's going to happen. For those women that are so mentally conflicted and trapped in their thoughts and hurting, you have to heal and find your strength to love yourself. Let go of the idea that the partnership that didn't work is coming back. That was one-sided. So yeah, we have we have do have a man here that is taking action, going after some sort of happiness. He's ready for a relationship. He is. This is gonna make the ten of cups. He's ready. He's done his work. He's ready. He's ready. He's ready. For that woman who has restrained herself. For those women that have not restrained yourselves, well, you better get working on that. Talk to you later.